you're watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. We're going to be taking a look at this marbles knife today. And this is the box it comes in. It's model number MR275. And this is the knife here. It is a cattleman knife from marbles. It measures four and a quarter inches long closed. We've got nickel silver springs, nickel silver pins, nickel silver shield, which depicts a steer or a longhorn. Maybe not a longhorn, but a steer. You got a lot of detail in the shield there. Quite elaborate. Red pick bone handles. A little bit of discoloration here and here, where it's a little light. Not all your knives are going to be a little different. Got smooth transitions to the bolsters from the handle. Nickel silver pins are nice and smooth. There's a look at your springs. You notice that one is a little larger than the other. The clip blade has a larger spring and the pin blade has a smaller one. A little different in that way. There's a look at the other side. This is much more consistently red. I don't see any lighter spots like the other side. There's a look at the top. You can see that this blade starts out quite thick on the top. A little off-center. Comes a little right, right to left there. But not an issue. It doesn't rub. So let's, let's take a look at the blades. The front blade is actually the pin blade. And it doesn't have any kind of a tang stamp. Just plain. But you have a match strike pull on a mirror finish. Take a look at those blades. The blade edge. You do have a swedge here. Nice even grind. Really tasty little blade there. Nice long pin blade. Nice snap to it. I'd say it's about a six pull. Pretty close to ideal. I'll zoom out just slightly. All right, so let's take a look at the clip blade. Now it has about a similar pull, I'd say right around five and a half, six. Good lockup. And you'll notice this blade etch that says cattle knife. And then you have a steer in the middle of the words. Swedge here. And this long match strike pull. And the tank stamp that says marbles on this side. On the reverse, you get the model number here, MR275. And then it says China. Mirror finish to the blades. These are 440A stainless steel, like Rough Riders have. Do have a little bit of gapping on the bottom. It's not 100% perfect. But it's not bad. The gaps are very narrow where they do exist. So pretty well constructed. And this is a pretty hefty knife too. We'll take a look at the weight really quick. But first let's look at that again. And with the blade, the weight, the grind is on that. So here's your scale, and we're going to take a quick look at the weight. Got 128 grams and 4.5 ounces straight up. So, a pretty hefty little knife here. And you'll notice that spring, like I say, is thicker on one end and the other, accommodating that. So, it doesn't need to be any wider than that. There's no sense putting a same width spring on the smaller pen blade. It didn't need it. So was, to me that's a smart design. Keeps the weight down, the narrow it narrows it a little bit. 
and really just a smart way of handling the design in my opinion but the one criticism of the, the knife that I've heard from other reviewers is that the nail nick on this larger blade is blocked by the pen blade. And that is true, but there is one thing about this knife that uh, I don't think maybe people give enough due, and that, that blade can be sent down into the body of the knife without a problem. Um, it doesn't create any blade wrap when you do that the knife is still has plenty of clearance um, and when I go to open the knife just having used it enough now I immediately look for the angle direction change there right where the swedge starts and put my finger just above it and catch that in there and I don't have any issue at all pulling that out every single time so essentially I'm pushing down and then finding the groove and pulling up. Now that might be a little weird, and I get that you really want full access to that nail nick, but it's such a minor issue in, in, in the practical sense that I don't even worry about it, because once you just learn that that's what you gotta do, it's, it's really not an issue. You can see I'm doing this and I'm not even looking. I'm just feeling for it. I can do it every single time. So, if you want to complain about that, I, I totally get it. Um, but from a practical sense, to me, it's it's a non-issue. And I think this knife is so attractive with the steer um, shield on it and the larger size. It gives you a nice, lengthy clip blade. And you're looking at like a three and an eighth inch, three to a quarter inch blade length and a cutting edge of over two and three quarter inches so I mean it's a healthy size knife not even legal in the UK you've got a blade length of two and a quarter inches on the little pin blade here and then a cutting edge of two inches on it so altogether a pretty large knife maybe a little heavier than what you're used to carrying a little larger in length like I said it's four and a half ounces so um, not going to be for everybody, but I really like this even-ended design with the cigar shape. And I didn't have a lot of examples of anything like this. And the fact that it has this shield on it, that's that's the selling point for me. I really like the way that looks. It kind of says everything about the knife in the shield, right? Being a cattleman knife. And I actually don't really mind the <clears throat> blade etch on this one. Yeah, it's large and it's, you know, maybe obtrusive, but the way the lettering is done and the and the stag in the middle, I don't know. They're just um, it doesn't it doesn't bother me as much as I might have otherwise not wanted to see. Kind of tells you everything about the knife. So there you have it, guys. Marbles, MR two seventy five. Sorry, three yeah two seventy five. MR two seventy five cattleman knife these are twelve dollars ninety nine cents on smoky mountain knife works and still available right now as i'm looking they have stock so if you're interested in this one pretty inexpensive and pretty large pretty cool nice clip blade nice pin blade nice shield and um the problem that many people have with it i really don't find to be an issue so i hope you enjoyed the review Make sure you hit like, subscribe, ring that bell so you're notified of new videos when they drop. You guys have a fantastic day, and please do take care.